like everything, it's always good to plan out and line everything up until you get it just right. And so what I'm doing here is I'm designing the path using an extension cord that's 100 feet because that's all I have that's that long. I don't have any rope. I'll go in and spray, but I'm trying to get a natural pattern from walking from the garden house down to the house. And I'd love to keep with the curves of our garden, so I'm doing a soft S. And I think I've got everything exactly how I would like it before I paint the stripe. And then I'll measure four feet over or three feet and then paint another marker. So when Aaron, our neighbor, comes over with big blue, he has lines to follow and he just digs inside the lines all the way down to here. I think I like it. I have it curving up this way and around like that. I am measuring with this tape 43 inches and don't mind the squiggles, but it'll all work out when it gets skimmed and dug with the backhoe. But so far, I'm just going down, measuring, spraying to connect the dots. So let's just do a rough little walkthrough. I still have it lined with the cord, but I did spray both sides. I measured and I'm trying to do like a romantic lazy S going up to the garden house and let's see how I like it, how it walks. I decided on 43 inches instead of 36 or 48, just seemed like the right, exactly the right width that I wanted the path to be. Now we just need to, uh, I like, I like it. I like this little jig right here because once he starts digging, it's really hard to fix. So I just want to make double share. I love it. It's hot today. That's why there's a fan. So anyway, gives you an idea. I love it. I'm going to say it's a go. We're trying to decide if I think we're thinking this backhoe is probably the easiest way to dig because it's only 43 inches in his shovel is, I think it's five feet wide, so a little too wide for my back. It's just like coloring in the lines. And we're gonna have a fun time removing all this stuff. Hopefully he can move it for us with his shovel. Like I said, he's just taking a couple inches off the top, maybe three. So we can put the black cloth down, so the anti-weed cloth, and then the rock. What I'm doing now is I'm going around with this tiny little tool. <laughs> And I am filling in, or not filling in, but hitting the line so I can get a straight cut. But what Aaron is doing now for me helps so much. And now I'm just tidying it up. And then we'll rake it smooth and put down the fabric. We have the path mostly dug, which I'm pretty pleased about. Aaron is going around now and taking all of the piles of dirt and sod and moving it to the back just in a pile for now and then we'll rake this out make it all even and then lay the black fabric but i love the outline i love the lazy s i think it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be so pretty when it's done Bye-bye. Thanks so much.
much for your help. We appreciate. Bye bye. It's the end of the day and I'm calling it a night. I've worked my fingers and my feet to the bone. My dogs are barking and my hands are swelling up. But I'm loving the path. I think it looks good. Hopefully this will all get raked up and washed away. And the black fabric's gonna have to wait until tomorrow. I have a couple roots that we just have to trim to get out of the way. It's gonna look so awesome. Just try to picture that with some, some grass. But it's gonna look really, really good. I can't wait to be done with this project. <laughs> So today is go day. We got this stone delivered this morning, which I'm really happy about. And uh, we just need to edge, just clean up the edges really, really well before we put down the black fabric. And then we're gonna start delivering the stone up here piecemeal, wheelbarrow by wheelbarrow, but we'll get it done. Uh, we can't have a big machine come today because it rained last night, that our yard is too soft and it would leave a lot of tire marks and tracks and we don't want that. So. Time to start edging, and I think I'm gonna give that Sean <laughs> job to Sean. Then just break that up into a pile, move it out. Just before. rake it out as smooth as you can. Right. You know. All right, perfect. Do your thing. But if you put the um. Weed whacker? Weed whacker. You can clean up the grass on the edge. Right. And uh, make sure you get a shape. <clears throat> Alright, you're off. So most of our stone that we're getting today also has some dirt and mud in it. And unfortunately, we're scheduled for a little bit of rain today. So we're putting tarps down on the driveway just so we don't make a big mud pile in the driveway when we move all the stone into the walkway. So we're just putting this down really to kind of protect the driveway a little bit and also to keep it from getting uh, muddy. And then also when we're done, we can just pick up the tarp and whatever little stones are left instead of brushing them and sweeping them up, we can bundle up the tarp and drop it the tarp on top of the position also and then we'll put the stone down on top of that. Now that all the gravel has been delivered it's time to distribute it along the path. We laid out fabric horizontally so it would overlap and then we carried it up wheelbarrow by wheelbarrow until finally and luckily our neighbor Peter came and saved the day. He brought his front loader and helped finish all of the distribution of the gravel. And for this, I am so grateful.
The wedding is just a few days away, so I thought I would give y'all a little update on how far we've come in preparation for everything, all of our projects, and a few more things that are still on our list of what we have to do to make this wedding just absolutely beautiful for both Chris and Molly. So, uh, going way back, one of the first projects we did was we took down a pine tree that was right here where I was standing. It was dead and it just was not photogenic at all. So that had to go. Sean started that project and then Athena had to come in and finish it up, which she did a great job. So then back here, if you want to come with me, back here, if you remember, was all brush, debris, twigs, wood, all of that. And that has all been cleared and stacked neatly over here. Some of it has been burned in our fire pit but at least it's nice and neat right here. It's totally doable, but I'm so excited. The other silver lining about clearing it out is that our property line goes back to the rocks. So this is a great level place for tents in the spring and summer. So uh, Athena made these chairs for us out of the dead pine tree. So here's what came out of it. We've got some lights in there, but don't mind those. And then some plants will go in these pots. But cute little ottomans and this is going to be a great place for the kids to sit and just kind of visit after the wedding or during cocktail hour or whatever with their juice boxes so pretty excited about that but come this way here's some more silver lining from the pine tree we made some seats out of this table so that's going to be good the table's going to be covered in white tablecloth as will the picnic table will have a white runner going down it we have uh, uh, these stumps from the tree, the dead tree, that are gonna house uh, galvanized buckets on top. That's gonna be for drinks, and we're gonna have those placed sporadically around the property back here is where mainly where the wedding's gonna take place. But here's one project that we've completed that I'm really excited about, I wanna show you. Just off the shade garden, we got this path installed. So. It is the Lazy S, as you've seen, but it's been filled in with rock. We are level. We just need to pound it down. So that's a, a major project that needs to get done, but uh, we're under the gun here as far as weather. It's supposed to rain starting tomorrow and all day Friday. So hopefully uh, we'll get this pounded down. I don't, I don't know if Molly's gonna wear a wedge or what, but I don't want her tripping over her, her wedding dress going down the path. But if you want to come down this way, I'm going to show you a few more things. We started talking about decorating, which I'm really excited about. That's one of my favorite things to do. We're probably right here where we were digging up the path. The tractor uh, did leave some marks, killing some grass. So I think we're going to have a few ba uh, bales of hay. And we'll have maybe some mums, some gourds, that kind of thing. But then we're still coming down this way. The trash cans will be in the garage. The, the propane tank, unfortunately, has to stay. So we'll cover that with white fabric and then we'll put these plants in front of it. But I got some sedum yesterday and I'll plant these in these pots, but I think that that'll look really beautiful coming up. And then the best thing about it is they're a perennial. So I'll be able to get those in the ground as soon as we're done. But then, if you remember, we had all of those trees that were taken down and they were sitting in our driveway ready for us to split. So we split all of that wood and now we are in the process of stacking it and putting it in the barn. So that's a major, major project that we have to get done today. Sean leaves for work in about two hours. So all of this wood has to be put away by then. I've started to pack, put a good share of it right here by the coop. And I'm looking at the coop thinking the patriotic banner needs to come down as well. So this is just a few things of uh, what we've accomplished and what we're doing currently. We also, the major thing also outside of getting all of this wood put away is the garden house has to be emptied out and ready to accept all the chairs that are going in there. So that's where we are right now. And uh, I'll bring you along for more projects, but I'm excited where we are and I think it's starting to really take shape. 
Stay tuned next week when everything comes together and the ceremony finally happens.